When you talk about lutein supplements, does the body recognize the lutein in a supplement the same way it would through a food source? Well, probably not exactly the same way. It certainly does make an impact. You can measure it in the blood after mm -hmm. people are taking the supplement. In a food source, uh, remember that, you know, a, a spinach just doesn't contain lutein. I mean, it's got uh, two or three hundred sure. other ingredients. Mm -hmm. And so, presumably, the body's developed to recognize the pattern of ingredients, and so it knows what to do with each one and package it. And so that, that's called the food matrix. And so a lutein supplement, obviously, is primarily lutein. It's, it needs to be taken with some fat. It's lipid soluble, okay. uh, and it does get incorporated. It's, the efficiency of it is somewhere, depending on the supplement type, uh, probably along the lines of maybe 60 to 75 percent as efficient as a food source that's taken with fat as well. Still very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously the body recognizes the, the structure, the molecular structure of lutein, knows what to do with it and where to put it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we measure that in the eye. When somebody is going to take a lutein supplement, and you mentioned take it with a fat, but what else should they look for in terms of uh, amount? Uh, what other ingredients might be in that supplement? Uh, do they right. take it with food as well? I mean, what, what do they need to know? Well, you know, it's a good idea to take, if you're taking a supplement, to take it with a meal. I mean, uh, it, it, part of this well-rounded kind of uh, diet mm -hmm. idea. There is some evidence that it might uh, compete, that the body might compete with, you know, for carotenoid absorption. So if you're eating, for instance, um, you know, some oranges uh, or, you know, some other kinds of, of foods that contain carotenoids, many carotenoids, maybe blueberries, strawberries, um, you know, the peppers, for instance, uh, it, you might not get as much benefit of the lutein. I would say that's, that's not a bad situation to be in sure. if you're eating a rich carotenoid mm -hmm. diet overall and if that's a consistent thing in your life. But, but that's something to know. So uh, oftentimes I recommend people take, you know, if you're going to take a fish oil supplement, um, which a lot of people do, mm -hmm. you know, and, and obviously that's a, that's a good thing for most people. Uh, take the fish oil, which is a fat, a DHA, you know, source of fat, omega-3 fats, and then take the lutein right after. And then you're getting the full benefit of lutein. It goes in. It's not competing uh, with other carotenoids to get absorbed mm. into the bloodstream. And so that's, that's, I think, a sound recommendation.